Before the video starts, let me know in the comment section whether you guys are rocking with next gen NBA 2K22 or current gen NBA 2K22. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, consistent back to back to back to back to back uploading chalk and you guys already know what time it is man i'm coming at you with another banger nba 2k 22 video you guys already know how we get down now look in today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys the highest badge builds in both current and next gen nba 2k 22 i'm talking the builds with the highest possible badge counts in the game. The current gen version has 68 badges and the next gen version has over 100. So listen, buckle up your seatbelts. It's time to go get into the lab and whip up these fire builds. All I ask in return is that you guys do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And if you're new, sub to the channel. Also drop a comment. I respond to every single comment. I appreciate you guys for watching. And without further ado, let's get right into the action, man. So we're going to start off in current gen, all right? The position is the only thing that's important. Your hand doesn't matter. Your jersey number does not matter. Okay, so look, make sure that you put your position at center. This is how you get the most badges possible. Now, here's the thing about this pie chart, all right? The thing about this pie chart is that this pie chart gives you the most badges in the game for any position, but the center position on current gen gives you the most badges, and that's why you have to make it a center in order to get the most badges possible. However, you can make this a point guard and get more badges than any other point guard. Just a little bit of insight that you get from watching some chalk videos, all right? But look, the big green, smaller blue pie chart is the pie chart that you're going to need to use for this, all right? That's gonna give you guys the most badges possible. For your physical profile, go with the speed physical profile, always. Never take a physical profile other than the speed physical profile, please. Even if you don't make any of my builds, if you take anything away from these videos, make sure you focus on speed. I say it in every video, and I'm gonna say it again. So look, 93 close shot, 61 driving layup, 58 driving dunk, 80 on your standing dunk, and 85 on your post hook. Okay, that's going to give you guys 23 finishing badges. So you're going to have a max finishing on this build. But that's not the only thing max you're going to have on this build. You're going to have max shooting, max everything shooting wise. So boom, 23, 27, you're already at 50. You're already at 50 badges, which is kind of crazy. All right, you're already at 50 badges for your playmaking. Same thing. You're gonna max your playmaking out. That's gonna give you guys 17. So boom, that is 65 badges. Now look, here's the thing about this, all right? This isn't the best center build you can make. This is the most badge center you can make. But the thing about it is, you could mess around with this build knowing you have this many badges and tweak certain things in order to make this a more usable build by getting the defense up. And like I said, on that same token, let me go ahead and show you guys. Same type of thing right here. Let's go ahead and put it as a point guard real quick. As a point guard, when you use this pie chart, right? Big green, small blue. Look at how the badges are. You get more badges on these types of builds for whatever reason they juice this pie chart. This is like the secret juiced pie chart that nobody really knows about. The pie chart that 2K is hiding from you. Look at this. And it's pretty nuts. This is a point guard. Look at the badge spread. Like it's a nutty badge spread for a point guard. This is like the secret juice point guard that 2K has been hiding from you. You could actually run this as a competitive point guard. At 99 overall, you would have the ball handling and able to speed boost. And look, even here, if you were to do 6'2", 6'1", you know, obviously not ideal, but you'd be able to speed boost at 96 overall. So that's something to keep in mind. Obviously this point guard doesn't give you the most badges possible, the center does, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys that tidbit for my people out there that are watching this, because that is a really slept on pie chart that nobody talks about. There's no content creators, no build makers that are talking about that pie chart. That is a very usable and glitchy pie chart. But as I said, we're just focusing on the most badges in this game, all right? So this is how you're gonna make it. However you would do it, we're going for the most badges possible, which is 68 on current gen. 68 is actually nutty on current gen. I'll just max the defensive and then put the rest on offensive rebound. You could get away with using this build. You would really get bullied in the paint. I would say this is kind of like a Jokic build, no cap. 17 playmaking, 27 shooting, 23 finishing. It's really a Jokic build. So if you're trying to make Nikola Jokic, here you go. This is basically the build. For your height, your speed is already kind of murdered. I mean, why not murder it even more? You could go with like 7'3", you could go with 6'10". I don't know, play around with it. You guys know me, I like to do, I like to do the smallest height, 
lowest weight. But obviously for this center, it doesn't really make the most sense. This would be like a glitchy post score. So I would just do like 7-3 max weight. You're already slow. Let's just slow it down even more. Max wingspan. I don't know why my player is invisible. That's kind of creeping me out a little bit. I'm the my player, I guess. I'm, I'm Here I come. Look. Oh, no, there I am. Interior finisher. Shades of Patrick Ewing, Kristaps Porzingis, and Joel Embiid. I'm assuming they're focusing all on the offensive sides of their game because this build has no defense. It reminds me of Jokic. I think this is actually a phenomenal resemblance of a Jokic build. If you're looking for a Jokic build, this is it. And if you're looking to impress your friends with the crazy amount of badges that this build has, you would have 100 badges at Legend. That's nutty. 100 badge build at Legend on current gen, not next gen. Because next gen, yeah, you can get 100 badges. Current gen, that's insane. So this is the build on current gen with the most possible badges. Now let's go ahead and get into the next gen version of the highest possible badge count build. And if you've made it to this point in the video, comment next gen. Let me know if you guys are here at this point in the video. You guys know I respond to every comment, so I got you. Look, small forward for the position, your hand doesn't matter, your jersey number does not matter. 6'8 height, 215 weight, 6'11 wingspan. These are the important things. You can play around with the weight. I don't really think that it matters, but I just know this is what worked for me. So mess around with it at your own risk. Body shape doesn't matter. Pick whatever you prefer. So look, moving forward from here, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to do an 87 close shots. So boom, 87. Kind of close to max, but not max. 87 close shots, 77 driving layup. 81 driving dunk. 81 standing dunk and then in 68 post control okay so boom so you guys can see 27 finishing upgrades that's a great start a lot of badges to work with let's keep it moving right along max that midi out max that three pointer and then take your free throw to an 85 now as you guys can see this free throw thing does not matter if you don't play pro-am in rec center you don't need free throw and i've been saying this like, if you don't play it, don't put it on. And if you do play, and I make a build where, like, it doesn't have free throw, just take something else down. But we're just going to go ahead and rock with this 85. We're not rocking with this 85 free throw. We're going to take the free throw down, just to prove my point. If you need it, you could put it up. 83 on your pass accuracy. 77 ball handling. Not the best ball handling, but again, you're 6'8". You're not going to be able to speed boost anyway. So what does it really matter? And a 69 speed with ball. All right, moving right along. Max interior, 80 perimeter. A 73 steel. All right, it's really, I'm, this is really numbers based, guys. This is the most number focused I ever had to be in a video. 59 block, a 74 offensive rebound. And then an 83 defensive rebound. Normally when I'm making these builds, like it's not so numbers. It's normally like how shooting is when you max one and you don't max the other. This is way different, but look, as you guys can see, this is a crazy spread. 27, 30, 22, 23. That is a crazy amount of badges, guys. That is like actually nuts. That's 102 badges. 102 badges on this build is actually pretty wild. Now, again, you could get your free throw up. I don't really think it's necessary. What I would do, you don't really have much that you can do. That's the only problem with this build. Kind of like how it is on current gen. In order for you to get the most badges possible, you're sacrificing in another area. So yeah, you lost out on the physicals. Now, if you guys remember my physical test from last year, I'm gonna put that up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Go back and watch that if you haven't already. It's a great one. You can get away with not having physicals in the park. In Pro-Am, no, but for park, yes. Now here's the thing about this. A lot of you guys are gonna see this and say, oh, this is so trash. I can't believe that you would even do this. Here's the thing about this. With this template, knowing that you have the most badges possible, you can tweak certain things in order to get physicals and get a more playable build. What this right here is doing is this is giving you a template for how you can make a build with a crazy amount of badges. So I'm basically sparking some of you guys' ideas. You guys are gonna go get in the lab you're gonna mess around with this and you're gonna find a way to have 98 badges with physicals. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. But again, this video is about bringing you the most possible badges. On a legend build, this build would have 140 something badges. That's nuts. For your takeovers, you have pretty much everything lock sharp. You even have glass takeover, like that's actually nuts. I'm gonna put glass takeover just cause I'm stunned that I even get glass takeover on this. 
So we're gonna rock with the glass takeover. And as you guys can see, you've built a two-way sharpshooter. In reality, they should say that you built LeBron James without stamina. I see why you have shades of LeBron James, but this is the LeBron James without stamina and physicals. But I'm telling you guys right now, that is like a template in order for you to tweak around and make it work for you. If you guys play with it in the builder, you're gonna be able to make a super insane build out of it. Or if you just wanna have a build with the craziest amount of badges, this is the build for you. But all in all guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. And also if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. I'm gonna have some crazy streams coming from you. And I've been uploading a ton of great content. You don't wanna miss any of it. I love you guys. I appreciate you for watching. And as always, it's your boy Chalk. Stay tuned for more. And I'm out. Peace.